Hello everyone, I'm Mayor Cheryl Brothers. I'm here today at Planet Granite. We're so happy to be here, so happy to see them opening again. Because we are social distancing, I'm going to remove my mask for the rest of this presentation. To begin with, the Orange County Mosquito and Vector Control District has been observing a huge increase in mosquito activity in this area and throughout the county. This increase marks the sixth week in a row that they have recorded higher than average counts in mosquito traps. Collections at this time last year were 24 mosquitoes per trap. This year, however, the district's traps are averaging 110 mosquitoes per trap. So residents, it's up to you. You should take the following precautions to help reduce the chances of breeding mosquitoes. Dump and drain any containers filled with water at least once a week. Clean and scrub bird baths and pet water bowls weekly. And the reason you do that is our newest mosquito will lay eggs around the water level and they're extremely hard to see, so you need to scrub them. Do not transport or share plant clippings rooted in water. Drill a hole or puncture containers to eliminate standing water. To prevent mosquito bites, take the following actions. Apply mosquito repellents to exposed skin before going outdoors. Wear repellent containing the following, and those ingredients are listed on your screen. And remember, our newest mosquito bites during the day. They tend to fly low, so concentrate on your legs and feet. Close all unscreened doors and windows to prevent mosquitoes from entering your home space and repair broken or damaged screens. If you can, wear long-sleeved shirts and long pants and choose light colors, which help repel them. Mosquito control is a shared responsibility. Learn how you can take charge of your yard and more information is on their website. The County Health Department has allowed reopening of practices for youth sports, that's practices only, and day camps as of June 15th. The guidance for day camp information is on your screen. Make sure the camp your child is attending complies with all of these regulations. The County of Orange will require all youth sports practices only to follow state guidance of physical distancing and safety protocol for small groups without spectators. There is no set time yet that the state will reopen sporting events and games with spectators. Another thing for Fountain Valley is Great Plates Delivered, which is our Meals on Wheels. Currently, we have 63 active participants in Fountain Valley. The county has been able to extend the program beyond the original end date and that we should continue to add participants. So information on that program is on the city website. We're glad to learn that Folicious was chosen as one of the participating restaurants to serve seniors in Fountain Valley and other communities through this program. As a reminder, participants who have participated in the Older Americans Act nutrition program in the past 30 days or who have received CalFresh are not eligible for this program. Other eligibility requirements are here on the website. We're here today with Do Nguyen, who is the gym director of Planet Granite, to talk about the reopening of fitness centers. I want to thank you for joining us today. I understand your gym opened again yesterday on Monday, June 22nd. Tell us about Planet Granite. How long have you been in Fountain Valley? How long have you been closed and how have you stayed connected with your members? Planet Grant is relatively new to this area. We opened in December of 2019, so the very end of the year. And uh, we were able to stay open until about March 15th of mm -hmm. this year. And that's when uh, our company as a whole decided to close all of our gyms. So all 16 gyms closed on mm -hmm. the same day. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that was a really 
rough call and we were trying to figure things out as it came along. I feel like we made the right call and uh, we stayed in touch by hosting something we called the Quarantine Games. So that basically had uh, each gym uh, create a community uh, and ask their community to kind of join in in things from working out uh, at home, uh, making food and baking, uh, and or even just watching TV. And the hardest thing about this whole thing is just this, our company is very much about community and it's been really rough just not being able to see the people that you're serving every day. And mm -hmm. I enjoyed that yesterday was so fun. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm sure people who enjoy your climbing walls here, which are all around me and very col colorful, uh, I'm sure they miss them too. It's kind of almost impossible, I would think, to recreate that at home. So were you able to provide services while you were closed? Um, it sounds like you did that remotely and that's good. Are you going to uh, re-strategize your business operations now going forward? Uh, yeah, um, immediately after closing, uh, we try to move as much of our uh, yoga and fitness classes online as possible. So we did everything from creating a YouTube page to gather all of our recordings, did live video um, workouts on Facebook. And moving forward, we are gonna continue to do that. Um, yoga and fitness classes currently at all of our locations are still suspended um, just in order to kind of help fight COVID-19. At this point, opening the gym to members only, again, with a limited capacity, uh, we're doing a reservation system that will, for this gym, cap it at 100 people per session. Each session is anywhere between two and a half hours to three hours, depending on the time of day. And we're also just trying to do a lot more cleaning right now. Um, it's probably the not the biggest change we were always kind of cleaning but we're mm -hmm. really just trying to make ourselves more present in cleaning and we actually have a gap in between each session so that the gym is empty of people and we're taking at least 15 minutes to just scrub down everything spray everything down and um, ensure that the gym is as clean as possible for the next uh, reservation slot oh that's good so with the guidelines from the state regarding opening gyms what are some of the modifications you've done to reopen and what are the challenges that those modifications have met um i think the biggest thing that we are we're doing is we are requiring masks um in, in to be in the facility and we acknowledge it's not it's it's not the most comfortable thing but Climbing is about being uncomfortable and getting comfortable doing that and finding that challenge. And so we're kind of asking members to do this so that uh, one, we're helping to protect each other, but also to help just protect the team members that I have here that are gonna be in here for four to six hours in a day. And before you climb, we're asking that you wash and or sanitize your hands and then keep your mask on, um, trying to not touch your face and then definitely sanitize your hands afterwards as well. And then our staff is again, constantly going around cleaning during their shifts and then in between each session. Do you anticipate members will be okay with the reservation setup and limited use of the gym? Have they responded that they're okay with that? Uh, yeah, um, the core of our community are they're in love with climbing. And so some of our folks have been just so excited for us to reopen our, our doors. And so they'll be here regardless of whatever we do. Of course, there are folks that are trying to be cautious about it. And so again, our job is to try and educate folks as much as possible. Uh, we still believe that we are offering the core of what we do, which is climbing and mm -hmm. fitness. And so mm -hmm. there, our fitness area is still open. Well, this is certainly a big space, so you, you should be able to accommodate. What are your hours now? Have you shortened your hours? Yeah, currently our hours are Monday through Friday from 12 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, so from noon to, noon to 11 p.m. And then Saturday and Sunday, we're open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you can come in and become a member. Yeah, in order to kind of not spread anything, we're asking folks to sign up for a membership online um, mm -hmm. so that there's as little paperwork passing hands as possible. So you can sign up online at uh, planetgranite.com uh, to become a member. And then that'll allow you to reserve a spot to come climb during one of our sessions. You have other facilities. If I'm a member in Fountain Valley, can I use other facilities? Yes, uh, we have 16 other locations. So you can travel a little bit and yes. still 
find a wall. Yes, very much so. Well, I want to thank you for your time today in this conversation that gives a little glimpse of what uh, gym use will be like moving forward. We're glad to see more businesses like yours opening. So I'm sure your members are ready to, to get back to it and get back to work and, and practice and hopefully not forgotten everything they knew before, <laughs> before the shutdown. So we also want to thank you for being here in Fountain Valley. Do you have anything, last thing you'd like to share? Uh, again, I just want to thank you all for allowing us to be here and uh, share this space with folks. Um, and I want to encourage anybody that's interested to, again, go to our website, planetgranite.com, to one, educate themselves on what we're doing further uh, to help keep them as relatively safe as possible and to find out more information on being a member and how to get in here. On another front, we have completed the lottery selection for Small Business Emergency Relief Grant Program, which is federal dollars. In the second supervisorial district, we did that last Friday, 90 businesses will receive a $10,000 grant from the CARES Act funding. Congratulations to those businesses. I'm sure $10,000 will help you to reopen. It will help you to buy protective equipment, to purchase things needed for uh, separation, and to help restock your freezer if you're a food service. A list of those selected businesses is available on the city website, and that information is on your screen. In District 1, Supervisor Andrew Doe office will begin accepting grant applications for businesses located north of Warner Avenue to the city limits. That will open sometime next week. They have different criteria, so pay attention to Supervisor Doe's website. When it's available, we will post that information on the city website. For those who did not receive a grant during either of these applications, the city will have a loan program. Once the first district program is complete, because businesses in the first and second district are eligible if they have not received a grant. So if you meet the criteria for the loan, we anticipate having funding to allow another 50 businesses who will qualify for the loan. So reminder, if you did not get a grant but applied, use that same application to apply for a loan if you still need that funding. As of June 18th, California Department of Public Health provides the following guideline for use of face coverings. People in California must still wear face coverings when they are in these high risk situations and they are listed on your screen. The following individuals are exempt from wearing a face covering when they're out in public, and those will be listed on your screen. Persons under two years of age, the very young, have a risk of suffocation, so they are not required to wear a mask. Anyone whose physical condition would not allow them to remove a mask if they're having difficulty, and others listed Obviously, persons seating at a restaurant and eating or drinking are not required to wear a mask. However, entering the facility and exiting, we do ask that you wear a mask. And lastly, in the list of uh, exemptions are persons in prisons and jails. They have specific guidance on wearing face coverings or masks for both inmates and staff and that website information is on your screen. So remember to continue to do your part in reducing the spread of coronavirus. Wash your hands to protect yourself. Wear your mask when outside to protect others and stay six feet apart. Until next time.